Hi, I'm Jose Saldana. Welcome back. Daily Devotion, Psalm 119, verse number 60. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. We are given the choice to obey God or not to obey God. There are consequences and there are rewards for our decisions, but ultimately the choice is ours. The commandments God gives us are always given to serve our best interest. When Israel was being delivered from Egypt, the people were terrified. When they got cornered at the Red Sea, many of them feared the wrath of Pharaoh. He's on his way. He's coming. And they riled up their friends saying, let's go back, man. Let's just, let's just go back. Let's just, let's just go back to what we're doing. Let's go back to being slaves, man. Right, let's, let's go. Moses didn't really know what to do. So he just told the people, uh, if nobody moves, uh, nobody's going to get hurt. Just just stand. We'll all stand still and let's see the, the salvation of God. And God gave the commandment to go forward. If they would have gone back, their burden most likely would have been greater than it had ever been before. And it would have been worse and worse for generations that would follow them. I mean, they thought they had it bad as slaves up until that point. If they would have went back, it would have been far, far worse. If they stood still, they most likely would have just been slaughtered entirely um, or taken captive again anyway. God's commandment was to move forward and it would lead to a mighty deliverance. It was, of course, in Israel's best interest to follow after God's commandment, but it was their choice. Um, the word he gives is always given with our best interest in mind. And it was also in their best interest to follow his command immediately. Imagine if God had told them to go forward while they were running for their lives and they decided to uh, camp for the night. If they had heard God's commandment and decided, eh, eh, we'll be, we'll, we'll obey when we get around to, we'll, we'll be okay another night. And uh, you want us to go forward? All right, we're going to go forward. But right now we just, I mean, it's not convenient right now. I mean, we'll, we'll get to that. Hold your horses there, God. Don't, don't get, don't panic, God. Don't get all excited on me. Uh, we'll get moving in the morning after a good night rest and when our feet aren't so tired. We always think we know the most opportune time for ourselves to obey God or to follow after God. If God's working on our heart and calling after us, we're like, yeah, I mean, I got time. I'll get to that. I'm not disobeying God or telling him no. I'm just not in a rush to follow after what he's telling me to do. The Ethiopian eunuch didn't wait to get back to Ethiopia before he obeyed the gospel. As soon as he got the revelation of who Jesus was, he said, hey, here's water right here. What's stopping me from being baptized right now? He had the correct sense of urgency when it came to obeying God's word obeying his commandments. Let's do what he asks us to do when he asks us to do it, because it's in our best interest. If God is working on you, he's calling you, he's working on your heart, he's dealing with you about something to change, um, to move forward, to call on him, respond that, respond immediately while, while he's opening that door of communication with you. It's in your best interest to follow after the word that he gives you. Thank you for watching.